Hi, I'm Lynn Gibney, AccuCold's Chief Brand and Product Officer. Welcome to today's show called Go Stargazing. We are over the moon for this Die to Try launch party. We will be sharing twinkling ideas and inspiration using our new Go Lucky Star 10 inch finish die. Now let me introduce you to your illuminating hosts for today, Pam and Erica. Hi, thank, thank you, you Lynn. Lynn. Good to have you with us, Lynn. Yeah. All right, quilters, this die will truly make your quilting shine. And as always, it's so much fun to use and it's really easy to use it too. Is. That's right. We're always looking to bring you innovative products to help you create fun quilt blocks. Using AccuQuilt dies makes creating time-consuming blocks and shapes fast and easy, so you can get back to what you love sewing. All right, shall we get this die to try launch party started? Absolutely. All right. As always, we planned a lot of fun for you. We've got great prizes, exciting project ideas, a glowing trunk show, and we are announcing June's halfway point prize for the Quilt the World. So be sure to hang around so you can see if you won. There you go. All right, ladies, I'm going to get ready for our two special experts, Tammy and Barbara, who will be helping to show off our new die in a little bit. So have great. a great show. All right, we'll see you in a Thank bit. Thank you. Okay. All right, quilters, let's not wait any longer. Here's a look at our new die to try, the Go Lucky Star. Let your quilting skills shine with the Go Lucky Star 10 inch finish die. This die doesn't require any paper piecing or Y seams and cuts one four color block in a single pass through any Go fabric cutter, allowing you to cut a large quantity of pieces from most fabrics quickly and safely. The graceful shapes of this block on board or bob die can easily be organized and pieced together by following the screen printed letters on the die board. From brilliant colors to sparkling patterns, each project using this breathtaking block will be unique. Pair this lucky die with other bob dies that finish to 10 inches, such as the Go Rising Star or the Go Tangled Star, to create star-filled projects. Create wall hangings and throw quilts and more when you use this die and your Go Cube mix and match 10 inch block and companions. The sky is the limit with this dazzling die because at AccuQuilt we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Quilters working with this new die to try has been so inspiring. It really has. Now we gave you a sneak peek of this die last week on Thursday, but don't worry, we've got even more inspiration and patterns to show off today. It's gonna be fabulous. All right, quilters, we put together some lucky bundles so you can get this great new die to try and start on your next projects as soon as possible. Plus, you're going to get double reward points when you place orders today. You can use these reward points towards future AccuQuilt purchases. Now, to get your order in during the show, open a tab in your browser. Type in AccuQuilt.com slash party to see the bundles and place your order. That way, you're not missing a minute of the show. Our first bundle we have is the Go Lucky Star 10-inch finished die with a 6 by 24 cutting mat. All you need is a cutter and fabric. That's right. Great. The second bundle we have is the Go Peace Stars die bundle. Now this comes with the Go Lucky Star, which is 10 inch finished and a six by 24 mat, but also the Go Starry Path die, the Go Rising Star die, and one of our favorites, the Go Morning Star. Really, those are three of our very three favorites. Three top favorites right there. Now this bundle is perfect for adding other star dies to your collection in addition to this month's die to try. So you can make quilts that glow with the best of them. I like the fact that all the stars in that bundle are different. Yes. Right? They're, they're completely different yes. and, and the process to put them together, but mm -hmm. I, in my quilting head, can see so many beautiful things. Out. Right, and there's some different sizes, but you know, if yep. you've got a smaller block, add some sashing, you make it bigger. We know about that. All right, quilters, in the past, our Die to Try program has been exclusive, meaning you can only get those dies released into the program at AccuQuilt.com. But we have some great news. We have revamped our Die to Try series to now include our amazing retailers. Yes. Be sure to check with your retailers to see if they have this new die in stock. And I know that so many of them have already purchased this That's die. Right. 
and I feel like we probably have some limited quantities available. But quantities, today. right. Quantities are still limited. That hasn't changed. Right. So you want to get it while it's around because when it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. Now, you can find many of our products at your local retailer. To find the retailer closest to you, check out your store locator. It's at the top of the page in the right-hand corner at AccuQuilt.com. And remember, you can also quilt now and pay later. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right. I think since it's a new month and okay. we have a little holiday, we okay. should change things up a bit. Okay. Exactly. What did you have in mind, Pam? Well, normally we take a look at the die and then we show you the block. Right. I think we should show you the block because it's certainly one that you and I would never cut by hand ever. Absolutely. Ever. Absolutely. Okay. That is a great idea. Okay. Let's take a look at it. So here's the block that it makes, and I, I love it. It's so fun, it's so unique. It is, and you and I love a good pinwheel, and this kind of gives mm -hmm. you that secondary version of several pinwheels right yes. there in the center. Yes, it does. Now, I know that our viewers are gonna say, oh, Pam and Erica, we could never cut this out. It's too hard. Yes. It looks like it might even have some said Y seams. Yes, but it doesn't. None it doesn't. Y seams. All right, I think it's safe to take a look at the die now. Okay, let's do that. I'll make sure I grab the right one. <laughs> that would help. All right, so this is on a six by 24 die board. It is gonna fit through all of our cutters, including our Go Me. That's right. Make sure you have a six by 24 cutting mat. Now, Erica, the thing we love about our Bob dies is all the shapes you need to make one block are on the mm -hmm. die board. Mm -hmm. And I love this block because you could make it four colors, you could make it five colors. Right. You could, you really could change up the colors. So all of our shapes are screen printed. And then talk about these little dog ears. So those dog ears are specially designed so that the pieces fit together the way mm -hmm. they're supposed to to make this specific block. Now, it looks like it's a super complicated block. And actually, this block is often made with foundation paper piecing. Right. And for those of you who don't know, foundation paper piecing means you actually get pieces on paper right you stitch you them on the paper and then you cut out fabric and then, and then you, you fold, fold it over, over and you waste so much fabric and it feels like you're sewing upside down and backwards and so time consuming yes right yes. because nothing is ever easier but in the past before the dyes that was how you could get all of these precise points but right. we've made it so much easier quilters yeah this is n not complicated at all it has some really great unusual shapes like g mm -hmm. and f and we'll mm -hmm. talk about this but again the accuquilt system is going to cut all of the pieces you need for one block in one pass through that's the right that's okay. right all right, so let's take a look at our block. All right, so here's our block, and let's, I think we have some fabric. Imagine I think that. so. Well, now that I say, oh, it's right here. <laughs> All right, so with uh, the AccuQuilt system, we've screen printed the letters to help keep track of your paper mm -hmm. pieces. Mm -hmm. This is one color, these are one color, one color, color one, one color. color. Now, it has lots of half square triangles and quarter square triangles yes. on it. And I love these really unusual shapes, yes. G and F. Mm -hmm. When you're laying out your fabric, these shapes you can fan fold, but talk about this, Erica. Okay, so these are, there are directional shapes on here. This is a directional shape. It's not the same either way. So you have to be sure you're stacking your fabric right sides up. Right, so for this one, Listen, these are not necessarily colors I would use to make this block, but we're gonna cut some We're gonna fabric see in. those distinctive differences. Yes. Now remember, your fabric wants to be laid out, here, this is the great one, so yes. that the, the lengthwise grain is parallel to the lengthwise, to these lengthwise blades as it goes through the cutter. Right, and the shapes are at an angle, some of them, like this one's not so much, but you want to line your fabric up just over those just shapes. Just over those shapes, right. And you can always cut up to six, six layers. layers. Yeah. That's how these blocks are designed. Okay. All right. So we're going to use the six by 24 cutting mat. We're going to use our Go Big today because we have it and we can. We can. But it would fit through your Go Me, fit through all of the things. All right. Look at how easy this is going to be. Yep. Keep going there, Brock. Keep going. Yeah. So we've laid out, and of course, just like all of our other block on boards, that quarter inch seam allowance is included in all of the shapes. 
Yep. So we're gonna go ahead now and we can lay out. Basically, this is a four patch. So this yes. is one unit that you're creating four of. We've got two across, two down. Yep. Now we are gonna tell you, oh man, you wanna make a test block. You do wanna make a test block. It's important. It is important. All right. So now when you're putting this block together, how you build it is important as well. Mm -hmm. Because you're gonna start right here in this corner. Right. And you're gonna take this shape D mm -hmm. and you're gonna add it to this shape F. Yes. Okay, so let's show you, see how well that's gonna line yep. up together yep. because of all the, the dog Those ears. Those dog ears make up. it, and that way when you flip it and press it out, it's gonna be perfect. Yep. And remember, we've got, there's, there's seam allowance involved here, so right. then you're gonna have that perfect right. line. And then this is the shape that comes here next, I think. Uh, maybe not, hold on, here we go. Now you're gonna know This one's down below. There you go. Oh, right there, there you go. Yeah. So then it is this. Okay, mm -hmm. here we go. <laughs> All the pieces, All we've the got pieces. so many pieces going right on. There. Well, and that's why it's great to have the screen printed pieces because then you know. Okay, there it goes, right there. And then it's gonna lay flat. Right. Then this is We've got shape. Uh, shape H and then we have shape A. A. Now the difference between is one is a quarter square triangle, one is a half, half square, square triangle. triangle. Yeah. And then okay. of course these two little pieces down here we've got that are gonna go down there. Right, so I'm gonna tell you that this is a block that you really want to. And we get the other there one. There you go. Wait, I need the other side. Right there. You're gonna make a test block and look. That's right. With the quarter inch seam allowance, it's right. hard to see it on the block. But I think that it's great. So you're gonna make four of them. So right. when I made my block, mm -hmm. I chain pieced. I, I did, did too. And basically what you're gonna do is create a left side and a right, right side. side and sew them yep. together. Absolutely. Okay, I do love this. It and is all so of those fun. pieces, and again, this is the hard part. Right, the, the cutting. Cutting the fabric is the hard part. That's right? right. The sewing together, that's the fun part. Yep. For today's Die to Try launch party, we've challenged two experts to dream up projects using the Go Lucky Star Die. First up, we've got Tammy White. Now, Tammy is an experienced quilter whose love she of is. quilting started 40 years ago when she made her first quilt for her baby daughter. Tammy uses AccuQuilt system and she's used it since 2009. She loves making memory quilts. She's terrific. Next, we have Barbara Harper. Barbara is a quilter, a seamstress, a teacher who has made hundreds of quilts and has owned her AccuQuilt Go for 10 years. She credits much of her award-winning success to the accurate cuts her system provides. Barbara began sewing as a child with her grandmother and enjoys creating quilts for special people in her life. And I love the quilt behind her. I do too. <laughs> okay. All right, now I can't wait to see and show off what they have come up with. But first off, I think we should give away a Go Lucky Star Die to a lucky viewer who registered for today's show. I love that idea. Our giveaways are just one way we would like to show appreciation to our viewers who've joined our AccuQuilt yes. community. Yes, all right, quilters. Our first lucky winner of a Go Lucky Star die is, drum roll please, Joan W. of Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, congratulations. Joan, we're gonna mail that to you, but congratulations. Hey. It's down the street. That's fantastic. That's exciting. I love it when hometown girl wins. I know a Joan W., I wonder if it's her. I do as well, I wonder. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, quilters, if you're not already, make sure you should follow us on all of our social media platforms. That's right. We love to share your stories, quilts, and more, and ours as well. In fact, we even share behind-the-scenes videos on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And you definitely don't want to miss out on those. They are full of antics. <laughs> yes. All right, speaking of behind-the-scenes, I think it's time to check out ideas, what our experts have come up yes. with. Tammy, what do you have for us so far? Hey, Erica. Hey, Pam. It's so great to be back with you all. I was very fortunate to be able to test run this Lucky Star die. What a good time I had. Oh, I've really? been quilting for 40 so plus years and I've never Joan covered W's? this block. So that was really exciting for me to be able to do something new. Now it's very, it's a very intricate design and it's got <laughs> lots of nice little angles to it. So it looks a little complicated, but boy, I tell you what, when um, AccuQuilt puts something to a die board, they take all the 
difficulty out of it and it was very easy to put together. So first thing I did was make my test block and I loved the way it turned <laughs> out. And it actually makes a really beautiful circular uh, sub pattern. And then we've got our spinning pinwheels in here too. So we've got lots of options to be able to play with this. Now, um, I also took it into black and white because I think black and white does something to a block and it lets you really see the depth of it. And this one here, um, the way I laid out my colors, I got rid of the circular and I really focused in on the spinning pinwheels. So this block has a lot of options to it. And then I thought, well, what happens when we start stacking them together? So I, I um, jumped straight into EQ8 and was able to pull out some really fun different designs. Now this one's all green, so tone on tone, and I think it turned out really fun. EQ8 is a great place to test your dies and also to build giant quilts. Now, my task is to build a quilt or a project using the new Lucky Star die with another bob. Now we've got lots of 10 inch bobs out there, Triang Tangled Star, the Cornucopia, the Pickle Dish, but I thought this one was a little bit complicated. So I wanted to go with something that would kind of tone it down a little bit, give our eyes a place to rest. So I used the Rising Star. So now I did a black and white with a little splash of blue in it with our Rising Star alongside of the Lucky Star. And the way I placed my color, get rid of the star, if you will, block and gave me really pretty crosses out here on the edge. So this is a full size quilt when it's all built out because these are 10 inch blocks. They're pretty good size. Now here's another one I just absolutely love. Same thing, I use the same two blocks with a whole different color combination. But you can see that I've got my circular spins going on here. My eye has a place to rest on these really pretty yellow stars. And then we start spinning again out here. So by putting it into EQ8, monkeying around, moving them around, changing the color combinations, you just don't know what you're gonna end up with. So I've got my challenge. I'm gonna take my uh, Lucky Star and I'm gonna take my Extra Bob which is gonna be the rising star. And I'm gonna come back to you in just a few minutes with my final project. I love how she showed the, the circular look. And as we've yeah. already looked at the pieces, you know there aren't any curves in here. We're not sewing any spins. curves, but it's got that circular look. I like look. it with the rising star. Yeah, Okay. I do too. All right, now Tammy mentioned EQ8, which go-getter Lori Miller, she made a post for us about how to use it, and it's on the AccuQuilt blog. That's right. Now, the AccuQuilt blog is filled with so many tips and tricks just like that, and inspiration, including exclusive tutorials and patterns. Discover everything we just talked about and more when you subscribe to the AccuQuilt blog. Now, don't forget, you can purchase that EQ8 software on our website. All right, now it's time to check in with our second expert, Barbara, who we may nickname the fabric magician after oh, this. Oh, big time, what do you see? What starstruck ideas do you have, Barbara? Erica Pam, I'm thinking my lucky stars a zillion times. This is a great bob. Not only does it have a lot of shapes, it's got a lot of unique angles that's gonna make it fun to play with. Now, my challenge is to pair it with cubes and it does make a 10 inch block. And I started looking through, there's lots of pinwheel blocks I think would look really good with it, just from the 10 inch cube. But each of these little sections is five inches, so you could really put it with your five inch cube as well, or a combination, lots of possibilities, mixing and matching with your cubes. One of the things I discovered when I was making my test blocks is not only the different fabrics, you could fussy cut, do some stripes, just different fabrics, but you can make all kinds of unique blocks. Right here is shape G. Well, you can eliminate it because shape C and G sewn together is the same size as B. You'd need to make it a mirror image and you can eliminate that little C out, G out of there. You can also take that and put it with your 10 inch or five inch cube and make flying geese. Or why not just sew four of those together to make kind of the spinning block here. One, another thing I discovered doing my test block, always do a test block, you learn so much. Shape A is the same as shape four in the nine inch cube. Shape H is the same size as shape four quarter square triangles in the 10 inch cube. 
So what I thought of is why not replace those with some pieces from my cube that would equal shape A and shape H. And that's what I did here. Number five sewn together makes a quarter square triangle. So shape five from my nine inch cube, I replace shape A. Shape five from my 10 inch cube, I replaced with shape H. I got a whole new look. Luckily, there's so many possibilities. What about trying out some different types of fabric? Here I use some stripes and polka dots and I'm just kind of testing for my background. So I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna get started. I've got lots of ideas on how to, my challenge piece with the cube, and I'll be back in a little bit to show you. Okay, first of all, we should use the new emojis die and make an exploding head. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. That's all I gotta say. Yes. All right, so quilters, a little later, we're gonna ask you to vote on your favorite experts project, so make sure you don't miss their reveal. That's right. Now, one of the most frequently asked questions that we get about new bob dies is quilters wanting to know if they can make the block with their cube. Right. And with this block in particular, that's a great big no. Big because no. Because this die has some very unique shapes designed to make this specific block. And also the dog ears are engineered to fit together to make this specific block as well. But that doesn't mean that you can't use the shapes on the die in different ways, like the amazing Barbara. Right, right, right. Okay, so let's take a look. So shape H, which is here, which is a quarter square triangle, mm -hmm. and you know it's a quarter square triangle because the bias edge is coming right along here, it's right? Lengthwise grain. grain. Right? It is the same shape as the quarter square triangle in shape number four of the 10 inch cube. Right. Okay, so here we go. Four of these sewn together makes a beautiful pinwheel block. There you go. All right. All right, keep going here. All right, now, shapes A and E are half square triangles. Mm -hmm. D, again, is gonna be a quarter square, like H. Right. So, Barbara A, like Barbara showed us, is going to be the same, and here's our A, whoop, with threads. I, I marked everything so we didn't yes, get confused. Yes, so important. As shape four, which is the quarter square triangle, in the nine inch cube. Right. Now, here's the difference. Look at the dog ears, yes. okay? So the, this is how shape four is dog eared to go together the standard way. The dog ear is a little differently, so it will go together, fit together slightly differently, but it's still gonna be the same. Right, because it goes to pieces that have that curved edge. That's right. Now, like she showed us then, you could take two of shape five and put it together to equal then that, again, this dog ear is gonna be like this. It's right. not gonna be the specialized dog ear. And quilters, everybody at this moment, just take a breath. Yes. Because Erica is gonna show you some more things. And this video lives forever on our YouTube and Facebook That's page. That's right. So you can come back and stop it. Yes. You can watch Barbara's version and stop it. You can come here and watch Erica. And right. we can talk about it. Okay, so this everybody is, take a breath. This, what Barbara's doing with this is definitely graduate level studies yes. material. So yes. if this is your first show you've ever watched about the cube, don't make that no. stop you because like yeah. Pam said, you can watch it again. Yes, yes. Work with us here. And we're it's happy okay. that you're here. Yes, okay. we are. Okay, now shapes C and G, when they are sewn together, they, and shape B on the die, right? Okay. Now, this is important because that's a directional shape. That's so right. You want your fabric to face up. So you're gonna have to make a mirror image of that if right. you're going to substitute shape G and C with a shape B. Right. Okay. But keep, and again, this is a great way to do it, Erica. Just take your scraps, cut some pieces up, see how that's all playing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So then. All right, the next trick. The, the next trick, right. So we've got another one. There's more. So the, she took this, this unit then. We saw her take this unit, oh, which yes. is Here's D, C, G, and F. So that is. Right there right here, this unit right here, and showed us that that is gonna be the same as shape H. Right there. Look at Look that. Look at that. And again, that quarter inch is spent, uh, you know, 
um, mm -hmm. built in. So that's how she made the spinning block. Right. So then she put four of those together and this is how she came up with that modern spinning block. Which I love. Now, we measured. Yes. This finishes to a five inch square so it would work with our 10 inch cube right, and our because five inch cube. This would then be equal to shape number one mm -hmm. in your 10 inch cube. Yeah. Then we also saw her do flying geese. So she yes. took this, she took shape five, which is the small half square triangle from again, the 10 inch cube, put that on either side. That made, I just lost my polish off my nail. It's okay. And that made our flying geese unit. Right. Isn't that cool? And that's just a really, that's just going to be really cool in right. any design. And we're going to hold this because in a few minutes we're going to show you how we. Yes, how we cut that. Okay. Now, she got really tricky, right? So she used two shape fives from the nine inch cube, which is a small half square triangle. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, she's using this as a quarter square triangle, right? right? So you need to cut it a little right. bit differently. So, so we have, imagine that, the nine inch cube. Hey folks, if you're not familiar with our cube system, we have tons of videos on our YouTube page, our Facebook page, and our website. Check it out. Yeah. Um, all the shapes are the same, they work the same. They're just different sizes. Okay, now Erica, how are we going to, these need to be. So these are half square triangles. These are half square triangles. So yeah. typically we would lay the fabric out parallel to our lengthwise blades mm -hmm. as it goes through the cutter. But because we're using them as quarter square triangles, we want our lengthwise grain to go this direction. Okay. Okay. So where's our lengthwise grain? There's our selvage edge. edge. That's our lengthwise grain. So we're gonna lay it across this way and cut this way, okay? So it's different than you normally do. Instead of going this way like you would, you have to turn it that quarter inch okay. and cut it get that a way. Big enough piece? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it'll work. It's right gonna there. be really it's close. It's be really close, but we can make it work. Yeah. Okay. Use our six by six cutting mat. We're gonna run it through the cutter. Give it some love, slide, don't lift. Oh, look, Erica, just barely for you there. Yep. So then that's gonna make sure that you've got that sturdy lengthwise grain on the outside of your block so that it, it lays flat and it doesn't get bent up, if you will. I love it. Okay. Now, as many of you know, my goal for 2022 is to bind all my quilts with a stripe binding. Yes. So, of course, I had to take a closer look at using stripes in the Lucky Star yes. block after seeing what Barbara came up with. Yeah. Okay, so here is, here is what we're going to show you how to do because um, there is no dye police so you can put tape on your dye. Right. So, this is that lengthwise grain. We mm -hmm. want it nice and tight, right? Now, Barbara, she laid her fabric this direction, mm -hmm. okay? So you're gonna get some of that bias stretch, right? Right. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna add painter's tape across so I know where to lay my fabric, okay? Right, because right. it's important with the stripes because right, we want, if you're, you're off, your stripes are gonna be crooked and if you're like Pam and I, that's gonna make you a little crazy oh, every time you look at your quilt. So block. crazy. So we don't want you to go crazy. All right, there we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stripe and I'm gonna come in here. Again, remember we're when we're talking about lengthwise green, it's gonna be different here on this stripe. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get some of that bias, but then your stripe is gonna work. <laughs> okay? All right. So I'm gonna use a bigger mat. Hold on. Hold, please. Okay, now I'm gonna run it through the cutter. We're not worried about this, right? No. Because it's only gonna cut where there's fabric and a mat. And I love the idea of stripes in this block. Yes, and it, that's the, the test block she was doing with the stripe and the polka dot fabric. Oh my was gosh. so cool. I need some of that, by the way, Barbara. Okay. Now we wanna do shape H, right? Yep. 
And we're gonna, and basically, we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna come here. But what I wanted to show him was, keep going. Okay. Watch this. So I'm gonna line it up here again, right? Mm -hmm. Because now I wanna make this same lock, because she had right. four of them the same. So don't fan and fold, fold it. That'll make you cranky. Yeah. Okay. And you would do the same thing with the H. You would just mm -hmm. put some painter's tape there so that all of your shapes are lining yeah. up the same. It takes a hot minute, but think it does. About it. it does. So if you've got some striped fabric, this is a great thing. So here's a tip. Next time you're at the fabric store and there's a stripe on sale, even if you don't like the fabric, pick it up anyway because then you're going to feel free to experiment with it. Yeah, so see, grab our block so we can lay it oh, on the here, block. Here, here, here. We have a block. We have a block. There's we can so do this. So many blocks. So many. So then we're going to take it and see what it's going to look like. See how different this cha how it changes it up. And that trick just with using the stripes in one section. Right. Think about if you used stripes in both of them. Yeah, and I would totally make my stripes the other direction, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that they were moving um, in a different pattern. So I like this idea of stripes. I do too. It's gonna take you a minute to do it, but make a test block, you'll love it. That's right. Okay. Yeah, and I'm all with you. I go to the fabric store and I look for striped fabric. Uh -huh. Even if it's not my favorite, I get me a little half yard. Yeah, because then you're, you're gonna feel free to, to play with it. If you love it, you're not gonna wanna play with it because you wanna make sure that you've got enough for your project. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, speaking of fabric, our good friends, Oh, so many good so things. So much fabric. From Michael Miller Fabrics. Hi, oh. Michael Miller Fabrics. Hello. I'm making a great Michael Miller pattern right now. Okay, this is yardage. Yes. Wait till you see what it yes. makes. Because it, it's in the trunk show. It is. And look, it has enough for the backing. Mm -hmm. And these are beautiful colors. You could use they something just all of yummy. them. yummy, yes. All right, oh, so my we're going to give away both of these fabric bundles today. All right, the winner of the first selection of fabric is, drum roll please, <laughs> Carolyn P. from West Bend, Wisconsin. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. And the second winner of the selection of fabric is, drum roll please, Sherry W. of Casson, Minnesota. Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, okay, wait so till you see the project. Wait till you see the sample. It's so gorgeous. We didn't, we hadn't seen the samples till this We hadn't this seen morning. it in live. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. So huge shout out to Michael Miller Fabrics. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's show. We know our quilters are going to be able to quilt to infinity and beyond with these gorgeous fabrics. All right, quilters, don't forget we have special bundles available for you today. First, we have the Go Lucky Star Die with the 6x24 cutting mat. All you need is fabric, and if you just won from Michael Miller, look at you, you already have some. There you and go. And a fabric cutter. Remember, it fits through all of our Go cutters, including the Go Me. That's right. But if you really want to reach for the stars, we've got the Go Peace Stars Die Bundle available. This bundle includes includes three other great Peace Star dies that will allow you to make the, all the celestial quilts your heart desires. I think I've made projects with all of those. Yes, actually. <laughs> Plus you'll receive double reward points when you place your orders today. These reward points can be used towards future AccuQuilt purchases. That's right. I don't know about you, Pam, but I am ready to see our experts' oh, project reveal. All right, now you're not the only one. Let's see what they've come up with. Tammy, what do you have for us? Hey Pam, hey Erica, I'm back with my final project. I took my design and turned it into a table runner. I love the look of this. I'm calling it Lucky Summer. I use it red, white, and blue with a splash of yellow on it so I can use it all summer long. It's not necessarily just a 4th of July um, table runner. It's quite large because these are 10 inch blocks. But here you are, Lucky Summer. It's just so amazing. <laughs> okay, that is big enough. Lynn that is, could take that is, if she had it here, Lynn would take it. Okay, oftentimes we talk about this. Start with a table runner. Yes. You know, if you have a bob die that you haven't used yet, make a few blocks, right. make, make a table runner, see how it turns out. Yep. Emily on her Wednesday show, that's how she started learning the Occupy It's a system. great way to get started. Yeah. It really is. All right, Barbara, what have you made for us? Hi, I call this sporadic. My challenge was to use the new Lucky Star with one of the cubes and I chose the 10 inch cube. If you notice, I have shape number one, 
shape number two and shape number three from the 10 inch cube. For me, I make my quilts typically very symmetrical. And so I wanted to stretch and grow a little bit. And so I came up with a very sporadic design. I hope you like it. Okay, I love I'm that. with her. I usually am really good about symmetry. Right, right. But this is great because she used those three shapes from mm -hmm. the cube and the square and the half square triangle mm -hmm. and the smaller square. And I think that it's so fun to just make it scrappy and make it different yes. and have a lot of negative space in there. It reminded me a little bit of the exploding heart from Slice of Pie that oh, we yes. had on a few weeks ago or yes. months ago. I don't know whenever that was. But we love that too. All right, our experts truly give great inspiration, and I don't know how our viewers are going to choose their favorite. I project. don't know either, but voting is now open. So let us know which expert project was your favorite. Now, if you're watching via the registration link or on YouTube, you can click on the vote box below or to the right of the chat. And if you're watching via Facebook, vote for the box that displays over the video. Okay, but I know one thing for sure. Tell me. This is going to sell out fast. Oh, it is. It so, is. It's such a great die. You need to get your die soon before yes. they're all gone. Yes. All right. So we are talking about our new die to try, the Lucky Star die today, which I can already tell is going to be a huge hit. And because it finishes to 10 inches, there are some must-have dies to go with this one. And we're going to start with the Go Big 10 and a half inch, 10 inch finish square. Oh, okay. We can do that. We're too. gonna finish with the square. Okay, we're gonna. So start we cut with the some. Square. We cut some because we can. Now remember, this is a go big die, right? Right. Yes. If your um, machine has a handle, this die will not fit. That through. is correct. It's only gonna fit through our electric go big fabric. Yep. Coat. Okay. But I do like that it's a big um, block, and it comes on a 14 by 16 die board. Make sure you have a 14 mm -hmm. by 16. Map. That's right. So you could alternate with this. Mm -hmm. And look, we have more than one. We block. have more than one. Here. There you go. There. Oh, look, our camera can move as well. Yeah. So look how you lay this out. And then you've got some open squares open. You could even put some embroidery on here. You could. You could totally do some really fun things depending on the season. I love this block because you could change it up for the seasons and all of that. Yes. Okay. Can we, there we go. All right, now we also have the 10 inch setting tray. That's right. So, so if you here. want those blocks to live on point or on their little tippy toe. Yes, we do love a good tippy so toe block. So we do block. love a good tippy toe block. Here, Let's I'll take, take a look. Days. Here we go. So that's when setting squares are gonna come in to play. Yep. So we have the sides and the corner, thank you. And you can totally use this 10 inch square as a setting square. Absolutely. And then this goes here. And this works because we've cut on the lengthwise grain and it's gonna allow our project to be stable. That's right. what happens when you turn block on point. You don't wanna just willy nilly just cut those. Right, because if you take a square and cut it from corner to corner, it's gonna be the bias or the stretchy part of the fabric. Right. Then the outside of your quilt would be stretchy, like, Wonky. like this. We yeah. don't want that. Now, if you don't sew it onto a block, you're good. Yeah. So this way we've got that tight grain on the outside. We're gonna get a nice squared up flat quilt. And our setting triangles will work with either the go or the go big. And it totally changes the whole look of any block. Wait till you see our trunk show because we have some on point. We do, we do. And this, the settings, the setting triangles are on a 10 by 24. So you can use that with either the go or the go big. Yep. I do love a block on point. I so do too. We had setting triangles, I hardly ever turned blocks. Because then we on had point. to do math on our well, own. Well, I just cut it wrong. Okay. Yeah. All right, so think about alternating those blocks and putting them on point and using those big blocks for setting triangles. That's right. Okay, here we go. So we've got a couple of other blocks. Of course, the five and 10 inch cube, we've already talked about how the cubes would work with it and actually even the nine inch cube. Yes. But 
Here are some other bobs that we talked about that are finished at 10 inches, so they're gonna be naturals to play with it. Gosh, I love this. Okay, Tangled Star. Tangled Star is such, such a cool block. It really and again, is. And you might think, whoa, this is gonna be really hard to piece together. No, it's just like the Lucky Star has some pieces, you make sure you lay it out. Some of the pieces are directional, so. Follow your directions. And this is our courtyard, which is such a sweet block. It now, is. It has some gentle Y seams, but Eric and I, we made a whole video oh, on yes. how to sew those. Yes. And talk about this little piece, Erica. So that little piece is the center. Now that gets appliqued onto the middle. So you can go ahead and just fuse that and iron it on, but we also have free downloadable embroidery that'll mm -hmm. stitch that on for you if you work with embroidery machines. And that is really fun. And you're gonna get such a sharp, uh, design. It's just going to work perfectly for and you. And for all of our new dies, or in all of our dies, we've made how-to videos yes. for, for all these new bobs. And Eric and I show you how to mark that seam, mm -hmm. use, you know, our rulers and our, our markers on our website and make Y seams. So probably the best hard. tip we can give you for the day is to go to any dies product page. So if you go to one of our block on board dies, okay. scroll down below okay. and you're going to find our video that you yes. can watch on how to put that together. You're also going to find those detailed downloadable directions and that has the coloring page for the newer yes. box. So it's a great way to get your hands kind of get all ready to sew those blocks. And which cubes would you use? Well, five and 10, I think, are the easiest yeah. ones. And we talked about the nine even, but what you always want to remember is that the cube is based on a four patch or a two by two grid, just like this block just is. Just like the block is. So you will be sewing units together. Mm -hmm. Now, a cube will allow you to make more than 72 different quilt blocks and each size of cube all has all the same shapes, they're just different sizes. And all those patterns are free downloadable patterns at AccuQuilt.com. That's right. All right, quilters, we have some fabulous patterns using yes, our new do. Go Lucky Star Die. And again, these are free downloads at AccuQuilt.com. Yes. So download the patterns before your die arrives so you'll be all ready to go. That's right. And while people are voting for their favorite expert project, we want to take a look at those patterns. Lynn, can you come sh help show off those wonderful patterns? Oh, this is the one. Here you this go, quilters. It. This is it. This is the one that the fabric bundle matches. This is Go Among the Pines Throw Quilt. It's by Amanda Harward of Larkspur Quilts. She's used Michael Miller Fabrics and she's teamed it up with... The Pineapple Block. The Pineapple Block. Look at this. Okay, it truly does look like pine trees in this particular it does. Um, pattern. And all of the fabric, including look, the backing fabric is included in that fabric. Yes. So I never would have thought to use a pineapple block as the setting block. No, it's no, it's a, so pretty. Yeah, tone. It yeah. gives you such a great design, and I love the quilting. It's like a, it's a clamshell. Mm -hmm. Yes, just over just very a basic simple. basic clamshell. Just simple. And what a color! I feel like this could live at your house. It totally could live at my house. Do I'll I get to take one. that one? I don't think so. Oh, okay. It does. Unless I get this one. Okay. Well, this one is the Go Turning Lucky Stars Throw Quilt. This is by Bea Lee of Bea Quilter. And this is just a symphony in solids, isn't it? It is. And that's such a good term yeah. there. <laughs> but, okay, here we've taken the block and turned it on point. Yep. Gray and pink and black. Already, I love this. But now, normally, you would use our 10-inch setting triangles. But Bea did some cool stuff here where she used the 10-inch cube right, to create right. squares and sew this together to yeah. equal that setting square. I love it. So you get even more pinwheels. Yes, right? like bonus. pinwheels and after pinwheels. So this is a really good um, point is that you can use those cubes to make those settings triangles yeah. mm -hmm. and the corners triangle as well. And the quilting is so simple and beautiful. Yeah, I really like this one. Is this one you're taking, Lynn? Uh, I have my eye on another one, oh, but okay. I would equally take this one. But I do, <laughs> yeah. all of these samples are great for showing different ways to use this this fantastic mm -hmm. block. And we're getting all sorts of really great comments during the event today. Are we? Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. Oh, yeah. so you think that we're going to sell out soon too, oh, don't yeah, you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Hot pink for the win. There you Wonderful. go. Gosh, I could put a stripe binding on that and paint it in. My goodness, I would take <laughs> the binding off and put a new one. Okay, this is really fun. This is the Go Frosting on the Table Runner by Marianne Fontana of Fontana 
Montana originals using Northcott fabrics. And, and this is a frosty Berlin. looking fabric, isn't it? So one of the things that Marianne does often in her projects, which I think is super cool, is she has a tendency to do tight, tight stippling in the negative space. So this is kind of puffy, mm -hmm. right? The regular, but this is cool because she's taken one of those blocks. Okay, now I gotta look right here. Here's the block on point, right? right? Mm -hmm. And then she took some extra quarters of those yes. units to make. Very clever, very clever. tricky, Marianne, very tricky. Well, and I feel like, see, this makes three, it has three blocks on it, right? And you can cut six in one pass through the cutter, right? You six can layers. Six layers. So you could, you know, if you did the math, which I am not gonna do, you would have extra blocks. And that's exactly what she yeah. did with it. I love it. Yeah, so this is a great, we talk often that I have a long dining room table, but yes. you could- so you could add another, yes. you know, three more on the end. And, and what colorway would you do it in, Lynn? Well, I think it'd be great to do it in seasonal colors. Sure. Yeah. And you could have several of these made for different times of the year. I mean, we've hit the 4th of July, so now I feel like I flip a switch and start thinking about fall quilts. I don't yeah. know. Absolutely, yep. Um, All right. What is the Pantone color of the year this year? Lynn? Anybody know off the top? Last of year Lynn was the gray know. and yellow. This is periwinkle. Periwinkle. That's right. Morgan for the or Morgan Madison for the win. Madison over here. for the win over here. You can tell she's Madison. a graphic designer. She is. Okay, so this is the pattern that comes on the packaging. This is right. Mallow Mixer, wall hanging by our good friend Terry Vandenbosch of Lizard Creek Quilts, and she used Northcott fabrics. I, I'm just I love everything stunned. about it. Mm -hmm. But what she's done is add a very small one inch finish sashing between okay. the blocks and these little cornerstones and it gives you this fun modern pinwheel. Right. I just love how that looks. And a big nice big nice uh, big border border to yep. set it off. And then I love how the gray uh, binding works like a frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And look at that beautiful quilting on the back. Yeah. I, I've been working at home on a scrappy quilt, so I think this one would lend itself to that too. Not only that, but it's my favorite and it will look great in my <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't know that See, they, she got to choose. Right, yeah. and now she's talking about moving her sewing studio at home. So I, I'm expecting wall hangings to start disappearing yeah. instead I, of just table I have more waters. space where it's going. So. There you go, uh -huh. there you All go. Right. Well, Walls thanks. to fill. Have a great rest of the show. All right, All right. You, well, without further ado, she is gone. Okay. <laughs> I love that hot pink one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. These are fabulous. Quilters, you can easily plan your next projects with our free Go Quilt tool. You can even upload pictures of your fabric in your stash to see what your project will look like before you make your first cut. Do you it's not use fabulous. Go Quilt all the time? All the time. All the time. So there are also numerous fabric collections from our sponsors as well as solid colors, a symphony of solid colors. A symphony of solid colors. I'm also available that. on Go Quilt. Plus, we've got thousands of quilt patterns for you to envision your next projects. Here's a deeper look on how to get started. Quilters, at the start of the year, we introduced our Paint It Forward campaign called Covering the World One Quilt at a Time. This campaign is a collaboration between AccuQuilt, Moda Fabrics, with Baby Lock as our sponsor. Together, one person from each of our teams is donating a quilt each week of 2022 to a charity of their choice. We are doing it at the end of the year. That's right. Now, last week's donation was made by AccuQuilt Go-Getter, Katie Swigert of Katie Quilts. 
She made her quilt with the three inch and six inch finished square dies. I love this, this so much. This is so fun. To create 126 inch blocks. So big. Katie donated her quilt to Quilts of Valor, which is a foundation that makes and donates quilts to U.S. service members and veterans to honor their service and sacrifice in serving our nation. To learn more about Quilts of Valor Foundation, you can visit qovf.org. Okay, okay, this is so simple but beautiful. You know, it really shows the beauty of just a two-color quilt. Right, right. And yeah. I, I think it was so easy to cut with our squares and mm -hmm. sew them together to make that nine patch. And, and she, Kate, Katie did a great job. I mean, it's just so pretty. And with the, the, the look, she's done like a tan instead of a stark white and it makes it look almost like an antique quilt. Oh, sure. Think about doing it in like a stark white with a navy blue. Oh, sure. Or a- Stark white with a black a and white pattern. A black and white or doing it with maybe gray and your hot pink. Oh, gray and hot pink. Put a striped binding on it, I'm sold. Good job, Katie. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Be sure to visit our website for details on how you, our viewers, can participate in covering the world one quilt at a time by going to learn.accuquilt.com slash quiltworld2022. That's right. And we are drawing prize winners every month this year. We are. Anyone who makes a quilt and donates it to a charity of their choice and shares their quilt publicly, either on Instagram or Facebook, using the hashtag, hashtag quiltworld2022, is eligible for our prize drawings. Now, those monthly prizes yes. are valued at $200. $100 in Moda fabric. Oh, I could steal my heart. Right? And $100 in AccuQuilt reward points. But steal my heart. the six-month prize is worth $500. That's $250 in Moda fabrics. And Lisa from Moda showed us yes. the basket, part of the basket. It was so big it. she couldn't lift it. She couldn't lift it. And $250 in AccuQuilt reward points. In fact, it's time for us to announce that lucky winner now. Oh, you are indeed lucky for the lucky star die. The lucky winner for June's six-month Quilt the World Prize is a huge drum roll, please. Heidi N. of Wausau, Wisconsin, oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Heidi, be sure and tell us like what kind of fabric did you get? Yes. Please say grunge. And which yes. size you got? Oh yes. Be sure and share. Be sure. All right, quilters, if you're looking for more fun and inspiration, be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live. Tomorrow, imagine this, we're gonna be using the Go Lucky Star Die to make a fun holiday project. And I'm going to show you how to do fussy cutting. Yes. Quilters have asked in the past and we kind of show them it's time again. Be sure to register now for the chance to win a door prize. And we have tons of fun, I hope to see you there. It's okay. so great. Again, this die is gonna sell out. Wait till, if you're not sold yet, watch Pam tomorrow and yeah. you're, you're gonna fall totally head over heels in love with this. All right, quilters, voting is now closed and we are about to announce today's expert winner in a minute. But first, we're gonna give away our final prize of the day. Let's do, all right, the second lucky winner of a Go Lucky Star die is drum roll, please. Wanda L. of Liberty, Missouri. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. All of our winners today. Yes. We have so many winners. So many winners. All right, the time has come. The team has counted all your votes, and it's time to announce today's expert winner. Did you have a favorite? Oh, they're very different. You yes. know what? I really loved both of them. I did as well, and I feel like I could really use both of them in different yes. kinds of ways. Right. All right. Um, will it be Tammy with her Go Lucky Summertime Table Runner? Which, by the way, you could also make for other seasons, like I feel like. Like fall or Halloween. Right. Okay. Or will it be Barbara with her Go Sporadic Stars? Which was great. Which was great. Well, you voted and you decided that our winner is, drum roll please. It's Barbara. Congratulations, Congratulations. Barbara. I, I really oh. appreciated the fact that Barbara kind of got out of her wheelhouse. You know, and that, that was what Just I thought too. A little bit. But Tammy's was beautiful and think of how easy it would be to make it for all the seasons. I want to make both of them. We'll yeah, put it I that way. I want to make Tammy's in like pink lemonade colors. Ooh. Pink and yellows and summertime okay. colors. Okay, that sounds fun. I'm uh, Just saying. Okay, <laughs> quilters, be sure to join us next week on Tuesday, July 12th for a special event called 
Acu quilt days. More of this will happen because we start caulking quilts and dies and pretty yes. soon we come up with more and more ideas. We do. But we will also be sharing the best Acu quilt deals and helping you make the most of your Acu quilt system. Now whether you're brand new to Acu quilt or you've been using the system for years, we've got a lot of fun planned for you to take advantage of all that Acu quilt has to offer. And don't forget, if you're new to AccuQuilt, we have tons of videos on our yes. Facebook page and YouTube and our website for all different skill levels. So right. check them out. So you can go back and watch Barbara over and over again. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Quilters, don't forget we have some new bundles. The first is to get your hands on for that new Lucky Star die. Plus, you'll get double reward points when you place your orders today. You can use those points towards future AccuQuilt purchases. That's right. To get your order in during the show, open up a new tab in your browser, type in accuquilt.com slash party to place your order. The first bundle we have for you is that Go Lucky Star 10 inch finish die with a six by 24 cutting mat. All you'll need to add is fabric and your AccuQuilt fabric cutter. If you've got both of those, you're ready to go. It's gonna be great. The second bundle we have for you is the Go Peace Stars die bundle, which includes four dies, uh, the Lucky Star, which finishes to 10 inches, our Go Starry Path, which finishes to 9 inches, the Rising Star, which is a 10-inch finished block, and one of my all-time favorites, the Morning Star, which finishes to 12 inches, a 6 by 24 cutting mat, and this bundle is perfect for adding other Peace Stars dies to your collection in addition to our die to try. Yes, you can also find many of our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. Like we mentioned at the top of the show, we've opened up our Die to Try series to include our wonderful retailers. We have. So you can shop in stores. To find the retailer closest to you, check out the store locator at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. Remember, quilters, we have financing options. For more information on uh, financing, check out AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, it is time for us to go sew because it's way too hot to be outside doing anything. Way today. too hot in Nebraska. We hope you are as excited as we are about the creative possibilities with our new Go Lucky Star Die. Thanks so much, quilters, for joining us today. If you've been waiting for the show to end before you buy, now's the time and here's the link. We want to make sure you get your items while they're available and ready to ship. And remember, quilters at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quilt more. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.